Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Critical Legends, I'm finally making my video on how to obtain the Astral Desolation class, and this thing is very complicated, so this might be a bit of a long video. So, to start the process, you must acquire a Book of Souls, which is a limited active item. Put it in your active slot, activate it, and this will get you Pumpkin Tier 1, but you can only get this through trade nowadays. To get this to tier 2, you just need to get an event upgrade ticket from the black market, put it in your active slot, activate it, and this will get you pumpkin tier 2 pretty dang easy. To get the third tier, what you have to do is go farm the void eye until you get a lot of void tickets. Essentially what you then do is put your void tickets in your active slot and spam them until your pumpkin tier 2 becomes the third tier, known as astral birth. There is a 1.5% chance of this happening, so good luck with that one. Now for the complicated part, the ritual. So I highly recommend acquiring every single thing you need for the ritual before starting it. You don't have to do it this way, but I really recommend you do. So the first things you're gonna need is three sweet love berries. If you don't know how to get these, you first must acquire the strange sickle, which is found in this waterfall cave area in this chest. All you gotta do is walk up to it and you will get it and you have to be level 200 to enter the cave, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, once you get the sickle, you then must go to the grasslands area and then run through these really weird looking red bushes. They have a 33% chance of giving you a sweet love berry and you just have to acquire three of them. Next, you're gonna have to return to the void and fight a lot of the void pillar rank nine mob guys because you need 125 curse brews and a truth seeker and those are the guys that drop them. So good luck farming that. Next, you're gonna need to get 50 eternal pebbles from him. The most effective effective way of farming him in my opinion is to use last wish with mana potions and this is going to let you absolutely shred him and it will also let you get all 50 eternal pebbles with pretty much no problem. You're also going to need to acquire his heart or universe void. The way you get these unfortunately is only through rebirthing. You have to get either his eye through rebirthing or eternal emptiness. If you get either of those items you then take an eternal fragment which is dropped from him and use it to upgrade those items that his eye gets upgraded to his heart and eternal emptiness gets upgraded to universe void. You just need one of the two items. You don't need both his heart and universe void to get it. Finally, you're gonna need to get 12.5 thousand sky cherries to acquire his sword. The way you get sky cherries is by running into the trees in Pumpkey Sky. This is gonna take you a very long time, but the best way to do it is to get a private server, set your spawn in Punky Sky, and then basically run around, collect every single cherry, leave the server, rejoin your private server, rinse and repeat. This took me about three and a half hours to do. It is very brutal, but it is definitely worth it. Then once you do that, you just have to go talk to the NPC known as Wolf sitting at the campfire in the snowy area of the map. If you talk to him and give him 12.5 thousand sky cherries, he gives you his sword. You're also gonna need to get her staff. The way you get her staff is by talking to this NPC and all you need is seven eternal stacks to acquire it. This one is very easy to get. Once you acquire all the items I just talked about, it is time to start the ritual process. So take the green boat from Punky Stye. This will take you to Blub's castle and then you will be here and this is the statue that you're gonna be praying to. So step one, as long as you have three sweet love berries in your inventory, all you have to do is walk up to the statue and pray and this will complete the first step. Step two is to chug 125 curse brews with the truth seeker on in your passive slot and then pray yet again to the statue. And then this is the second step. The third step is to consume 50 eternal pebbles with his heart on or universe void. It doesn't matter which one. And then you're gonna talk to him yet again. By the way, every single time you complete a step, it will give you an anklet and this basically saves your progress. So after you consume the 50 eternal pebbles and talk to him with his heart on or universe void, this will give you the third stage anklet. So to complete the final step, you have to have the third stage anklet on, you have to have his sword on, and then you also have to have her staff. And then all you gotta do is pray to the statue again. Now, after you pray to the statue again, it is gonna set you down to level zero. So what I recommend you do is after the text prompt comes Thumbs up. What I recommend you do is take off all the gear and then put on your best rebirthing gear because remember you're going to be set back down to level zero and as long as this text box is up you are golden. All you got to do is continue talking to them and then a long cutscene will come up that is kind of interesting to watch and then once the cutscene is over you will be set back down to level zero and you will have astral desolation. 
So that is how you obtain this class. It is like the most complicated class to get in the game, but I hope this video has helped you guys out. So Astral Desolation in combat itself is probably one of the better classes in the game. It's not the absolute best, but it is very, very good. It is a physical damage class, so I recommend just using Wonder of You with Infernal or regular Demon God armor and then Blub's Crown, and you're going to be shorting pretty much everything. For my uh, actives, what I like to do is Dark Burn Scroll with um, Bloodthirst and then also Jingle Bells. This gives me all the damage I need to pretty much kill most things in three orbs or less. Overall, the damage on this class is very, very good. It is much easier to get things like Death Ray, and in my opinion, Death Ray is definitely better than this class. But anyways, guys, that is how you obtain Astral Desolation. Leave a like if this video helped you out. It took me a while to make this video, but it was a lot of fun to do. Anyways, comment down below if you guys have any questions on any of the steps. I will happily answer anything you guys ask. Anyways, subscribe for more, leave a like if this video helped you out, and comment down below what other content you want to see from me. Bye!